You'll see in this video that we've got some larger numbers. So what happens if we don't have enough in one of the places? Well, we can trade. Let's have a look how. Now that we know that 10 hundreds can be traded for 1,000, let's use it to help us do a subtraction problem. Let's evaluate this difference. If we start with 5,313, we can represent that using 5,000s, 300s, 110, and 3 units. Now to show that we want to subtract 1,532, we can start by removing 1,000. Next, let's try and remove 500s. Since we only have 300s, but we need to take away 5, we need to trade. Let's trade 1,000 for 10 hundreds. Now we can take away 5 hundreds. We come across the same problem when we try to remove three tens. Since we only have one ten, we need to take 100 and trade it to make 10 tens. Once we have these 10 tens, we can remove two more tens so that we can take away three tens. Finally, we need to subtract two units. So let's cross those out. Now count up what remains in each digit. Do you see how we have three thousands, seven hundreds, eight tens, and one unit? This means that our difference is 3,781. We can also find the difference using columns. When subtracting using columns, it's important to start with the units first. When we subtract 2 from 3, we get 1. Now when we go to subtract the tens, we have one ten, but we can't take away three from one. To do the subtraction in the tens column, we need to look next door to the hundreds column. We can make a trade and change the three hundreds to two hundreds and ten tens. Now we can subtract eleven minus three, which is eight. Again in the hundreds column, we can't do the subtraction problem 2 minus 5, so we need to look next door to the thousands column. We're going to make a trade of five thousands for four thousands and ten hundreds. Now we can do 12 minus 5, which is 7. Finally, we subtract 4 minus 1, which is 3 giving us a difference of 3,781.